today. Today I'll be talking about how to how to extract different variables from a multivariable MC file. Now, before you do that, you need to install the package NCDF4 as well as Rasta. If you've not done that, um, you need to install the packages. You can look at my earlier videos to see how to install packages and, and put them in your library in HAR. Okay, so I have this um, whether mo most times NC files are normally used to encode weather data set. And uh, some of this weather data set you could have sometimes more than one data set encoded in the same NC file. For example, this weather data set contains uh, weather data contains information for wind speed as well as information for um, dew point temperature. So it contains two weather measures. Now, how do I separate these weather measures in doing my analysis? Um, now, the first thing I want to do is, I, let's say I don't even know what the variable names are in this in this uh, in this weather data set. So I this is the name of my weather data set in my directory. And then I use uh, this, op, this function called NC open. You'll get it uh, in this package, NCTF4. So I use this function called NC open. I, I save whatever comes out of it into NC. Then I say, OK, I want to see the names of the variables in NC. So I say I want to see the names of the variables in NC. Now, this dollar sign is only telling me that I want these variables to come from NC. All right. So if I click on that, I'm going to see that there are two variables there or what you call two levels. Level one contains S I 10. Now that S I 10 means wind speed. I know that because from the from where I downloaded the data from, it's clearly stated there. So it's wind speed. Why D 2 M is uh, dew point temperature. Okay, now let's assume that, uh, let me remove this. Uh, let's assume that I just want to use this. Uh, let's say I want to just rasterize this um, data set and then use it for my analysis. Automatically, the raster function will pick whatever is the first level. In this case, it will pick the wind speed variable. So let's run, if I run it now, it tells me that it has set the level to level one. And it tells me that there are two levels. As you can see, there are two levels. And it has set the level to level one. And what is level one? Like we said, level one is the wind speed. If you want to see that, just click on next. Yeah, I mean, run next to see. It tells you wind speed. So this is it. This is the wind speed. And this is what it picked. So this is it. Now, let's assume I don't want to pick wind speed. I want to pick level two. <clears throat> So what do I do? It simply tells me, if you come back to the warning sign here, that if I want to, it's using, it tells you that you know, it's using wind speed, that is SI10. But said if that is not correct, if I don't want to use wind speed and I want to, use, I, I'm interested in uh, extracting D2M, that is dew point temperature, then what do I do? I add a var name. I add a var name to my NC file. So this is my NC file. Then I just had a var name. And I said, OK, I will say, OK, the var name should be what? Um, D2M. That's what I want. So, And then you can add maybe the one sign. If you say one, uh, you can say, no, I don't want you to bring out the one sign. This because if you don't, so you click on this. All right. Uh, oh, it still brings out the one sign. So, OK. So I don't think this, let me just remove this then. So. Doesn't matter. All right. So um, what it does now is simply to so I've set the var name in this NC file to be D2M. So it's going to give me my dew point temperature, no longer wind speed. So it's select. Although it will still bring out a warning that it is setting it to only one level because Rasta can only pick one level. So if I do that, you see, it tells it set it to don't worry about the warning message. But how do you know that? Rasta has picked actually what you wanted it to pick. Uh, when you run this, you see the name it has the van name is now dew point temperature, no longer wind speed. And so you use the van name to change um, to set your variable in the multi-level NC file to what you actually want it to be. So I hope you've been able to benefit from this video. Please like and also share.